We are heading up this morning to the Mekong Delta. So, um, a beautiful big um, natural waterways. It's pretty uh, overcast. And last night we had an absolute downpour of rain. It was a complete deluge. Um, so much so that we got trapped in one of the seediest ends of town. And the only place we could find to get out of the rain was a bar called The Pub. But I went in there and <laughs> it was, it was should have been called a bump and grind. That's all I'm going to say. It wasn't uh, what you would consider at home to be a pub. But um, we, we managed we managed to escape that uh, between rain squalls and got back home and uh, had a beautiful dinner in the long run. But um, wow! So it's um, it's the, their rainy season. Even though we're only just not that far away from from the equator, we're on the northern hemisphere now, whereas Bali's on the southern hemisphere. And, and so you get the opposite weather patterns to what you get on the other side. So in Bali's dry season, we're, we're sort of in, a, in the wet season over here, and it's only fairly recently started, I think. I oh, know, that's what I, I can work out, but... So that's the adventure today, the Mekong Delta, and um, we've got, after today, we've got one more night here in uh, Ho Chi Minh, or Saigon, as it used to be called, and then we are off to Hanoi, up north. So that's uh, that's uh, our itinerary at the moment, and looking forward to it. So beautiful. The breakfast was stunning. It was uh, very different from what I expect. A lot of fresh food, a lot of a lot of greens and leafy vegetables and stuff like that. And uh, honestly, it's it's not gluggy and oily. Very impressed with it. So there we are. That's <laughs> that's my update to, so far. And uh, and let's go for a drive. We're at the Mekong rest stop and there's a whole heap of buses uh, on the way out to the Mekong Dollar, which is just a massive, massive big waterway. It's about 80 kilometers out of um, Ho Chi Minh or Saigon to get to where the boats pick us up and that takes us a further 20 kilometers up river, I'd say, or up or down river, I'm not sure, along the Mekong Delta. So all over, we're going about 100 kilometers. Um, I've got to say the roads are pretty good. We started in the city of Ho Chi Minh, which is something like nine or 10 million people. It's a massive, massive city. Um, and, and quite quickly got onto a freeway system or a highway where there was um, lots of agricultural, lots of industrial sort of uh, development. Hi. Oh, 
and then we have we take for making the candy we take the coconut flesh coconut flesh right okay and the next step after this step the next step everyone we stay together right here the next step we need to sorry we need to uh, you know grind grind the coconut to get this powder to get this powder there are two ways to do it this is the current way yeah by the run by electric city but long time ago how about long time ago i remember my grandfather my grandmother whenever they uh, cook the sweet soup the sweet soup they do they need a coconut they do like this they do very fast but even they go even one hour just a small amount but at this at the huge factory like this they need a big amount so they need they need the machine over here right with this machine they can prompt they promptly they promptly harvest the very a lot of powder you see you know every day they cook about five five big pot like this mm. right yes and you know in this pot they put a, a pure coconut water coconut milk 80 percent and 20 percent will be caramel yeah, do you know caramel right yeah, yeah. 20 20 percent they cook one hour for one hour after, after done this step they're gonna transfer to this step yeah. they at this step they only go for 15 minutes at this step they're gonna mix the flavor mix the flavor candy with peanut flavor who allergic with peanut you shouldn't eat try this you try the other no, no. and then you have a free time about five minutes five minutes you look around and then we go to the boat You step in the middle. Try to step in the middle of the boat. That's yeah. right. Yeah, for balancing. For balancing. Keep go. one more step, madam. Okay, that's right. Okay. Honey, balance. Remember, balance. Very good, very good. Good luck and see. Uh, and see you in uh, Cambodia. All right, thank you. Ah, no, here, back here. <laughs> so we're gonna take you to Cambodia. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, remember you paid everything already. <laughs> He's funny. <clears throat> Can I try? Oh. Yeah, okay. You're gonna have a paddle. This one? Okay, here. This one here. Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes. this, this, yeah. or go there? Here. 
Like this. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. You need to pay me then after this. <laughs> Can we sharing the profit together? Hello. So we've all seen coconut trees, especially living in Bali, because there's a billion of them. But these are aquatic coconuts, and they grow in the water. Not up on tall stalks. Be damn so easy to pick them. It's just going to get a bit wet. Right. Where are you from? I have uh, from Bali. Hey guys, I have a part-time job here. You want to see? See, I'm sharing the commission with this lady behind. We're gonna, uh, what you call this one, honey? Paddle. Go to pedal, go to Cambodia. Cambodia. Okay, not here. We're gonna race them. If we more faster. Yeah, no, no faster. <laughs> Just relax. Where you from? Uh, from Bali, Indonesia. Yeah. You must be from Vietnam, right? <laughs> How'd you guess? <laughs> I know! <laughs> she could have been from Cambodia and got lost. <laughs> Sorry ma'am, I just like to tease you. <laughs> just like kidding. What they gonna do with that one? Yeah, water coconut. Yeah? The, the eat, the cat that eats small here. Oh. It's really cool. Hi. Vậy là đoàn của con Dung nó đi là Thanh dẫn đầu hả? Thanh đi chung với chị hay là riêng? Vậy là Thanh đi đoàn của con Dung hả? Mấy xuồng? Không biết. Con Dung mà tới mà tới ông quen là nó bà Liên. Rồi tới bà Liên. So it's really peaceful just sitting here paddling up and down the river. So it's quite hard to imagine that this river goes for close to 2,000 kilometers from from foothills of China. Probably from yeah. the Himalayas or something I'm yeah. guessing. And all the way down to where it hits the ocean. Yeah, at the end of uh, near Ho Chi Minh. Through six different countries. And um, even yeah. close to the mouth of the river and it's still clean. It's amazing. No plastic mining, no rubbish. Paper bags or plastic bags. Bit of coconuts. Occasional bit of debris, but almost nothing. It's quite impressive actually. I was quite surprised by that. I was expecting a lot more, to be honest. But it's lovely just to be out here quietly enjoying nature. No jumping in the pool. No jumping in the pool. Yeah, I get that every day when I'm working here. Um, the Vietnamese food isn't anywhere near as oily and greasy generally as, uh, as a lot of Asian food. Um, a lot of these rice paper rolls. Elephant ear fish. This one. It looks like gourami. Including scales, because they cook it all inclusive. Oh. 
very fresh tasting. It's quite fishy. Come on. It wouldn't replace McDonald's <laughs> in my diet. A lot of people say, how dare you? Um, It's light. The food is light. Light. Yeah. yeah. Light. It's not heavy, it's not stodgy. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I made a bit of variety, we've got some chicken. Oh. Oh, honey chicken. Oh, honey, it's mm. chicken. Water spinach is very good. Mm. Or as, as Stewie would say, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't said it for you, Stewie. <laughs> me. Oh. That. That's very beautiful. Oh. Crispy but soft. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to this. I'll try it with the sauce. Yeah. Oh, a special sweet sauce here. Oh, that's better. That's a, that's a lovely sauce. It's like a ginger fish sauce or something. With an endless supply of water. Supplying an endless supply of rice and fish, their diet down this way very, very much fish based, rice based. Mm. I see some freshwater river crabs over there as well, and uh, prawns, mm. pepper, and garlic, and salt. Very delightful. Mm. Oh. I'm going to finish my um, fried rice, hit the chicken soup and drink the hen, the last bit of Jack Daniels, I mean um, Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, God bless them. I asked for a, another can of Coke because I had a little bit of um, magic water left over. <laughs> Thank you, to Judy Free. I said, can I have a block, a block of ice? Oh. <laughs> the glass is full of ice. I don't even know if I'm going to fit the bourbon in, let alone any of that. <laughs> I just have to see what it is. Ah, there we go. See, like I told you, there's not going to be room for any coke in there. But it's going to be bloody cold. <laughs> Look, i I got to say, that was a bloody nice meal. Um, Without the sauces and the extras, the fish was a little bit fishy. Funny that. Um, I'm not sure if, if elephant ear fish and gourami is the same thing. It certainly looks pretty similar. Um, I've had gourami. It's a gourami. It looks like gourami, yeah. I've had gourami in Sumatra and in Bali. Um, here we go, iceberg now. We'll call this a Titanic. Oh, poor. <laughs> Right, put some more in it. Um, but I'm full without being sickly full. You get to wash it down with a authentic Indian arrowhead. So sweet that one. Oh wow. Wow, great. That's very sweet. And not genetically modified because it's got seeds in it. Um, Definitely one of the best parts of this journey to Vietnam is trying a different cuisine because, to be honest, when you're living in Bali, when you come over here for, for a few weeks, a year or every couple of years, the nasi goreng and all that's nice and, and different from what you're used to. When you live here, you miss the food you're used to at home. But when you come somewhere else where you've never been, trying all the food is half the adventure. And as a bit of a foodie, When watermelon tastes different to what you remember, beautiful, strong flavour. 
really really sweet ah part of the adventure well I'll, I'll knock it back with something a little bit more familiar purely because someone told me a while back you don't get barley belly or tummy upset if you drink alcohol <laughs> explains a lot <laughs> um, but seriously oh, just having a lovely relaxing perfect day for our honeymoon time to spend some time together and Fee wasn't feeling so well this morning maybe because we got stuck out in a downpour last night maybe she's just coming down with a bit of a don't tell the, 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 all the story please <laughs> but we had a lovely night we uh, she got some I had it how do you say po? Po. No. Po. 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 Oh. Oh, sorry. There's, there's a drink there's a food a soup P-H-O, but it's pa or or something, I don't know, per, uh. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. We were trying to say it last night and they were just giggling at us. Um, and it was like a beef broth. It was a little bit like bakso. Like a bakso suppy, beef beef meatballs in, um, in soup, in a broth. Pretty strong flavours, um, but without being overly um, spicy or anything. There's not a lot of spicy. You can get spicy. They give you some dishes and stuff to go with it. Um, but, but it's actually really, really nice flavours without just knock your socks off spicy. So, oh, there's a prawn. Oh, they're fed now. Hi, guys. Um, I think I've eaten too much. I need a bit of exercise. So, I'm going to see what we're going to do to try and shed some pounds actually looks a bit like we're gonna have a bit of a rain squall um, the sky looks a bit dark and cloudy so so they have um, yeah I, I think we're gonna get wet no it doesn't matter <laughs> it'll dry off yeah honey the hat makes the outfit very sexy Thank you. <laughs> and, and here we go complete with humpback Yeah. 